Thai girls, everyone wants them, everyone talks about them, but who really knows them? I never slept with a Thai girl because they're f***ing ugly, they're whole. They only want your money. Well, I f***ed a Thai girl, but she's not a prostitute. Shut up, and shut up, they're all prostitutes. Having a relationship with them will be your worst nightmare. The girl, she's gonna be way more traditional back in my country, so trust me, she's not marrying you for love, she's marrying you for your green card. You can't trust them. How much can you make from your three boyfriends three together? Boy. Get them, uh, about 8,000. Is it true or they are just prejudiced? They have a secret group in which they talk about foreigner guys in Bangkok, and I ended up in it. Like quite a few of these groups, and they're also quite large. What really happens in this group? They go for like a chick foreigner. Every guy can date with tiger. He's some kind of do bullshit. They can check. On the other hand, a lot of European and American guys come to Thailand not only for the beautiful country and for the cheap cost of living, but to find a Thai girlfriend. They are material wife, they know how to cook, how to clean the house, and they are more attached to the family values. I like to be with my wife in our house. <laughs> what? With a lot of people that can look at us. In this video, we will discover the unspoken truth about Thai girls. I'm Daniel, and I have lived between Bangkok and Pattaya for more than two years. From the comments I received about my videos and the comments that I saw on the other YouTube videos, I can say that there are many stereotypes about Thai girls and people are really confused about them. You can't date girls in Thailand because all they want is your money. Thai girls just want your cash. Thai girls just want your money. False. This is the king of the stereotypes that you will hear about Thailand. This opinion will only ever come from someone who has never stepped foot in this country in their whole entire life. For sure there are a lot of girls that want that, but there are a lot of girls that are searching for something different and I'm talking about a serious relationship about love. So the fact that you think that it's only working girls in Thailand gives everyone else a very good indication of the kind of lifestyle that you've been living in Thailand. To me, this suggests that you love just going around to all the bars where working girls work. It happened to me several times that I had out with a girl that she paid for me the dinner, she paid for me the drink or the taxi. You want me to pay for you? She paid for me the dinner. Yeah, that is not a big deal. Hey guys, crazy, there was two girls that proposed to me to let me stay in their condo for free. They had two apartments and they proposed to me to let me stay for free in Bangkok. I'm tired of taking, I can't get enough of this old world. Point number two. Depends in which areas of Bangkok or Pattaya are you searching for the girls. It's normal that if you go in the red light district or you use the brown gaps, uh, you won't find love or a serious relationship, that's for sure. You must know how to move. Another mistake that many guys do is the approach. It's normal that if you approach a girl flexing your money, your lifestyle, maybe this girl will be more interesting your money than in your personality. But if you approach a girl in the right way, if you show that you are humble, that you are really interested to know the girl, if you invite the girl to drink something or to eat something and not directly in your hotel room, as many guys do in Thailand, you play with her, you joke a little bit, trust me 100% this girl will be not interested in your money but will be interested in you and in your personality. I love this thing from face. <laughs> and guys, to be honest, this is the king of the stereotypes because people think tigers are poor, tigers want your money. This is not the truth. There are a lot of tigers that earn more money than me and than me together. And what about your experience? Tell me in the comments. When you come out to the Thailand, the amount of like working girls is honestly annoying, so pay to play type of area. There are many freelancers. That's true, but many girls that want to have a relationship and want to have fun too. Even in Pattaya you will find uh, good girls or girls that will come with you only to have fun and not for money. This is the game that you have to play, it depends on your ability, on the mood, on the situation, on the vibe that you can have with the girls. Of course, if you go to Thailand with the mindset every girl is a freelancer, you will pay for sure. Look, arrive in Thailand with the mindset I have to pay and you will pay this 100%. My mind, now my mind is blown, no surprise. 
How to meet normal girls in Bangkok? For sure, the best app to use now is Bumble, Tinder, they friendly, but the first is Bumble. Second, don't go in the red light district. Go to the cafe in Bangkok. There are a lot of cafes that are amazing where you can easily find beautiful girls, you can talk with them, or in the mall too. There are a lot of beautiful malls in Bangkok, expensive, uh, very modern, luxury mall. You can find a lot of girls that uh, maybe I'm going to eat there or I'm going to do shopping there. You can approach these girls, take the number, invite the girls in the evening to drink something with you. It's very easy, guys. In the clubs too, you can go to Kazan. The best club in Kazan for me is Rocco. You can find a lot of young and beautiful girls uh, that they want to have fun or a relationship or they want just to enjoy the night. They won't ask you money. Okay, that's me. That's me. Or you can go to Soy 11 or Ekamite or Glor. There are many clubs where you can easily approach a girl because Thai girls are very friendly, they are amazing. They always smile, even if they don't like you, they will smile to you, they will talk a little bit with you. So it's very easy to find uh, normal girls in Bangkok. What about Pattaya? Even in Pattaya, what I suggest to you is to use Bumble, not Tinder or the Friendly. There are a lot of hookers on these apps, but on Bumble there are a lot of normal girls. Of course, uh, if you want to find a good girl, don't go in the red like these two areas, but you can easily go in the working street, in the clubs. 50% of the girls will be freelance, but the other 50% will be normal girls that are in the club only to have fun. And there are many girls from Bangkok that go to Pattaya in the weekend to have fun in the clubs and they are not freelance. So it's very easy. Of course, if you go in Jomtian, there are a lot of rooftop bar, a lot of nice cafe in Jomtian too. You can easily find nice and good girls there. Many people told me never engage with a Thai girl because they cheat on you. You know what's funny? Um, in Thailand, where I used to live for a long time, the locals, like local Thai people, but not, there's different hierarchies and whatever, mm -hmm. but um, the local Thais brag about how their women take care of them. And then you wonder why Thai women love getting together with these older white men. Because for once in their life, like, they don't have to take care of someone who's just, like, living off of them. <laughs> and also cheating on them, because that's part of the culture, too. There was a big prejudice that these girls have a Thai boyfriend and they take your money and send the money to the Thai boyfriend uh, while you are uh, engaged with them. Guys, this is not true. This is a big prejudice. I mean, every girl is different. Some girl cheats, some girl not. This is... This doesn't depend on the nationality of the girl, can be Thai girl, European girl too, it's the same. This depends on the situation and on the girl. Some girl cheats, some girl no. In my experience, I had two Thai girlfriends and they was very kind, very nice, they was really amazing. Many people say that uh, Thai girlfriend ask you money every day, every month, uh, uh, that uh, they want only this from a European guy, that they cheat when you are not in Thailand, they go with other guys. About her a nice big rock. Since he's been back in America, I've seen her every time I go out on the town. Pasi is not that big. But every time I go out on the town, I see her with a different dude every night. And I finally asked her, I'm like, damn, ain't you engaged with a brother from uh, Charlotte? You know what she did to me, guys? That's between me and you. Don't nobody else got to know. I got to survive. But I said, but last time we talked, you said he was sending you a nice long sum of money back where you could survive and you didn't have to do this. He's in America. How, how the hell he's going to know what's going on over here? My experience is not the truth. Every girl is different in Bangkok. There are a lot of girls that can earn more money than you and than me. So uh, they don't need your money. They only want a relationship, a good partner, and to create uh, something with uh, a foreigner guy, because some girls, they prefer foreigner guys to Thai guys. Uh, but depend, this depend. Every girl is different, so we cannot say because one girl maybe cheat on her boyfriend that all the Thai girls cheat on their boyfriend. This is not the truth, this is a big stereotype. This depends on you, you have to be careful to see if there are red flags, uh, and then we'll do a video about red flags and Thai girls. If there are not red flags, uh, you can trust a girl, you can try to have a relationship with her because it's not true that all the girls cheat and all the girls want your money. They are not called big guys. I don't bring any money. You gotta pay for this. Never bring money. You have pockets when... today, so what's Never up? Never bring money when you go shopping with boyfriend. In my relationship, when we hang out, we pay 50 50 equality. Thing unknown in Italy where I used to live before. <laughs> you know guys, in Italy, usually when you hang out with a girl, uh, you always pay 
for everything and she will complain if you don't do it. So I love Thailand. You want to bed? Oh, is that too big? It's not too big. Having a relationship with a girl of another country with a different culture is amazing. A fantastic experience that will enrich you a lot. Usually guys, people that make bad comments on YouTube about Thai girls are usually all the guys that used to come in Thailand maybe one time in their life only for tourism. Huh? Uh, so this guy really doesn't have an idea about Thailand, they are old, they don't know how Thailand changed in the years, they don't know the new girls, how they act, they always go to the red light district in this kind of place, they always ask how much to the girl in the messages. It's normal that this guy cannot have girl for free. If you are an old guy, you cannot have a young girl for free everywhere in the world. If you are not rich and you don't pay, you cannot have it. This is normal. Tell me in the comments if you are agree with this or not. Ah. Guys, if you will come to Thailand, this will become 100% uh, your uh, new obsession. By the way, Thai girls have a secret group, in the reality more than one, on Facebook, in which they send photos and they talk, sometimes very bad, about foreigner guys in Bangkok, in Pattaya, and in all the city of Thailand. And yes, I ended up there. What happens on this group? The girl fall like a chick foreigner. Every guy gonna date with Thai girl. He's some guy do bullshit. They can Usually take. on this group, Thai girls talk about foreigner guys that are living in Bangkok. Uh, usually they send photos, they ask if these guys have a girlfriend, uh, if uh, he's married or not, uh, if he's single, if some girls know him uh, and have maybe some tips about the guy. Uh, they do gossip about the guys too. Uh, in my experience, <laughs> I finished it on this group because I was hanging out with a girl and she was scared about me. Maybe a little bit for doing on pizza, maybe a little bit because uh, they see all the tattoos, they always think like I'm a very bad guy. and. Maybe sometimes I am too. Why, uh, why they put my photos on the group? Huh? No, I... why you do something? Maybe, maybe you do something bad. I didn't do <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a good guy. Maybe you do something bad, and then some girl put your picture on this. Can I show you the screenshot. Okay. Can you translate? Oh, I have some. Somebody dead with you or not? Because she talked with you like a long time. Maybe she want to know you, you did uh, another girl or not, uh, something like that. Do you remember the comments? Something like, okay, you did many girl, you f around, something like that. Not yeah, really they really tell the girl, run away, don't they, don't go with that guy. And so she asked like if some girl was dating me at the same time, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I received like in one hour 90 comments uh, and most of them was like uh, I used to hang out with him, he's a bad boy, he only want to have fun, uh, do have pizza and many things like that. I discovered it because uh, one of my friends uh, sent me, she's a girl, sent me <laughs> the screenshot, <laughs> sent me the screenshot of, of my photos on this group and she translated for me the comments. So when I saw the screenshot, I uh, wrote uh, to the girl that put the screenshot and I say to her, delete now the screenshot, uh, you cannot do this, uh, you cannot put my face. Be careful if you're gonna do something which is in Thailand called Tiger. They can check. But usually, this kind of group guys are very toxic, and the people that stay in this group are toxic too. I mean, if you are hanging out with a guy and you cannot understand alone if this is a good guy or not, uh, I mean, this is a little bit problematic. And usually, on this group, the opinion that they give uh, because I have many girls that are my friend, they show me. Uh, many times the comment on these groups, uh, many times are very negative and very bad. But sometimes this group on the other side can be useful for the girls because there are many foreigner guys that are very bad with girls. Really, trust me, they're very bad. They stole money to the girl, they fight the girls. Uh, and this is a thing that uh, really guys have to avoid. Never touch a girl, first, first rule, and don't try to scam money to, to the girls, guys. I mean, find a job. Want to set your hand or some something else? I follow you. You can do whatever you want <laughs> because I love you. <laughs> oh, the little guy always sweet talking. Yeah. Because you are beautiful and oh my God, no! Ah, uh, now I really love you. 
We are soulmates. Yeah. Oh. I'm naked nice. now. Yes. Yes, very nice. I'm a little sweaty and sorry because they work all the day. Okay, but you have big come through here. <laughs> Maybe now she changed idea. She wants to hang out with me. I don't know. Do you like? Yeah, it's nice. I have two guns. Yeah, what? You want yeah, to see the second? Yes, of course. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Maybe three. <laughs> Which are my conclusions about tigers? What do you want to do, my room? I don't know. No do idea. No idea? Mm -hmm. Do you have an idea? Mm, something. <laughs> Follow me, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tigers are beautiful, incredible, and full of love to give. Put away prejudice and people's comments opinion because you will never find the truth in other people's experience. Or on the comments of YouTube, for sure, 100%. You will find the truth only living by yourself the experience because the truth doesn't exist. It's personal. Everyone has his truth. And remember, after you will hang out with a tiger, you will not even be able to hang out with other girls anymore. But what do you think about tigers? Put a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. It's free. See you in the next video.